Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So welcome to episode 28 of the new update series, when I'm gonna show you a progress on a new account starting from zero and going all the way to max endless. Without using double gain, without using premium, without watching ads or using any additional help or tool to progress more quickly or to get more items. And at the same time, I uh, will share with you guys all the best tips and the best ways to progress as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Uh, my total game time it's 139 hours and half almost and this is the state of my research. My low frequency is already maxed out at level 98. Uh, you cap it at 1000% because you already have the extra 20% coming from the start research and uh, this is where you earn a ton of loot. You start earning literally millions of loot and uh, this is where you just want to max out your writing, you want to reach level 100. Uh, at the moment I have it level 86 and um, just briefly talking about the rest of research I have finally been able to max precision drop rate this is something that you wanna you're gonna need a lot of green papers to be able to do it but once you max out loot frequency and you start upgrading loot rarity you start getting so much loot that it, it's quite easy to, to do this um, and you can just uh, you know bug sell a bunch of stuff um, and yeah eventually you're gonna get enough uh, green papers you know to do it and uh, yeah that's in that way you get the maximum amount of both prestige dust or prestige tickets from selling cast maps or from reselling quests or from any other uh, usage uh, you want to keep remember you want to keep your previous drop rate still level zero you want to start upgrading this one only after you max your rarity so until that stage you want to um, you want to focus on earning loot you know not really earning bidist uh, so that way you can progress more quickly and then you upgrade this one um, the rest of the research is just uh, focusing on the most important things so like coin duration very important maxing out starting coins as well uh, some general stats like projector speed level 20 25 attack speed damage as well experience multiplier range also 20 and upgrade price level 30 i've maxed this one out because in that way i can save up more coins by upgrading my towers so that's why uh, this one is pretty nice um, I was up with the here Quavian Trouble just for the quests and overall it's just pretty useful in any other non 6.3 scenario. Um, and then in terms of my splash I've got everything level 25. For the moment this is enough for me and my splash deals enough damage. Um, but of course later on I will uh, keep upgrading it. And also the abilities here upgraded a bit more the level 10, the ultimate and level 2. So that's just uh, it. And at the moment, what I'm doing is all the bidis I'm earning, right? I'm uh, trying to upgrade and uh, focus on the next part of the game. Because remember, once you max your rarity, then you start maxing bidis drop rate. And then the goal is to actually earn tons of bidis, right? And, um, and yeah, so for that stage, you're going to be gaining and upgrading everything but you're gonna end up running out of resources so resources is gonna be the thing you're gonna be lacking the most so that's why uh the next thing that i'm focusing on is first of all to be able to upgrade all the miners level yeah here we go level level 10 right so not just tensor uh, not just infer sorry is the one that you need or six or three but all the rest of the miners and then to actually max them out so i'm gonna start from um scholar and yeah, just going all the way to max level. That's it. And then you move on to the next one. That's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, and I will do it for every single uh, miner. I've already maxed out Overload. This is going to be very, very important to use on 6.3 to earn tons of uh, resources. And then the last thing that we'll do is going to probably uh, upgrade Gauss and uh, get some more upgrades, especially on double time on the ultimate of Gauss. Uh, just to do a lot of damage and just to use it on 6.3 and yeah, that's gonna be it So now I'm gonna show you which gameplay I'm using on 6.3 and, uh, um, and Yeah, just commenting about it. Remember you sell the two miners at the beginning and then you start the game You don't want to wait now. You don't care about uh, Making the boss path longer. You don't care about that And now depending on your research depending on how strong your splash is you're gonna you might need to upgrade it up to level like four three or five or six or seven so you might need to upgrade it a bit more 
Uh, for me, at the moment, level 5, it's enough. Then you get the modifiers, and then you get anti -air. Then you go for the core, the extra coins per minute. Now here, anti-air, you're not really placing it for the boss. But you're placing it for the enemies, so the enemies are forced to go on towards the left side, and so your splash deals a lot more damage. Otherwise, if you don't have something here in the middle, enemies are going to actually spawn, they're going to spawn towards the right side. They're going to do this, and they're going to try to reach your base. So, um... That's why you want to place anti-air there, just to force the enemies to go towards the left side. And um, now, once again, remember, once your loot frequency becomes level 97, you want to start using this gameplay that I'm going to show you right here, which is the shortest strategy on 6.3. You just wait, in terms of in-game time, this number right here, until 5.24, then you place the miner. So that's it. You upgrade it as much as you can. Depending on research, again, you might need to upgrade splash a bit more, you can leave it just like that. And you can see that at level 86 of loot rarity, I earn mostly legendary loot, some epic loot, you know, every now and then, see, one item, one icon, two icons, something like that. Uh, but it should be mostly legendary. And then upgrade them, upgrading the miner, level 4, getting my splash level 6, placing also one freezing, uh, because it s slows down the enemies. It adds some uh, extra damage, you know, which is always nice. And then I go for the extra score. Then at this stage, I just wait until my splash reaches level 20, and I go for the ultimate. The ultimate uh, makes splash to do a ton of damage, um, especially to grouped enemies. So yeah, it's very, very important. And then I go finally for the minor level 5. There we go, just like that. Then I go my special level 7. Then I go some extra speed from the minor. From the core, sorry, up to level 4, which is pretty cheap. The last level is pretty expensive, so you're not gonna be able to get enough coins to get it. Um, and then here I get my special level 8, I go with my freezing up to level like 7, something like that. And then remember, you just play until 1040. At 1040 in game time, you just end the game. Just like that. And uh, you collect everything and you repeat. And I repeat this process three times. Now, um, after three times, so after I do it three times, that's when I just uh, get all, everything that I earn. So all the tiles, uh, the chests, you know. And rather than opening them up and creating cast maps and getting prestige tickets in that way, which is pretty slow, I just bulk sell everything for prestige dust. And then I craft the dust right here into tickets. And uh, you get, you need around 1100 dust to get one ticket. So, for example, in this case, if I would sell all of this, right, see this 739,000 prestige dust, this would mean that I get roughly like around uh, 650 tickets, you know, something like that, 640, uh, just from selling this one. And then you count each. Depending on the quality, the highest the quality, see, 100% gives more prestige dust. So of course you get more value um, and uh, you get the tickets and then you go right here, right? You should be able to get like two levels, sometimes three levels on loot rarity and you just keep, repeat this process until you max out loot rarity. This is the most efficient way. Uh, one thing though that I have to say is that very early on, so like when your loot rarity is below level like 70, um, you don't want to do this. Like selling stuff for prestige dust right it's bad because of the fact that you get also epic loot you get very rare loot you get a ton of different loot and uh, actually you end up wasting so much value that you don't really gain that many prestige uh, tickets and it just worse so until your root rarity reaches like level 70 75 around that number you want to keep selling cast maps and you can see here that on my on my games you can actually see that until like yesterday I um, I kept selling cast maps. See, I played like three, four times, six point three, and then selling cast maps, selling cast maps, and this gave me a lot more tickets than what I would normally get. Um, so that's why it's uh, it's better. I don't know why I have so many here. Probably because I was doing some tasks, but um, yeah, normally it's like three gameplays on six point three, and then selling cast maps. Three gameplays on six point three, cast maps, and so forth. So that's what you want to do. And, um, uh, but yeah, remember, after that, so after your loot rarity, 
you get to level 70, 75, you start earning most legendary loot, you only earn a little bit of epic, that's when selling, bulk selling for prestige dust is actually better. So it's, it's faster, you get more prestige tickets in the same amount of time uh, than if you would like open everything, create custom maps, you know, sell them and so forth. So that's just uh, my, my goal. Um, now, something I wanted to share as well is a strategy that a, a player on last la time I did the live stream showed it to me. And, um, and I've done some tasks and unfortunately they are uh, not as good. So the, the idea was, oops, wait a second here, I'm gonna I'll go again. So the idea behind this test is to actually use overload as a way to earn more, um, to increase the speed of the miner, to get enemies to be spawned faster. So you actually play for less time. You get the same amount of loot, roughly. And, um, and yeah, you use overload. So the idea is to use overload, to use three or four overload, depending again on your, on how strong your splash is. And uh, uh, yeah, so in that way you can save up time. And I've tried the different um, different strategies surrounding this, uh, and unfortunately they don't really work that well. Very simply because of the fact that by using overload, he, there is less time going on, so loot doesn't become that rare. Remember, even if all the loot is legendary, it can still become more rare. More rare means that you get more like 100 percentiles, 95 percentiles than, for example, you get 80 percentiles or 85 percentiles. So it's actually uh, better, more quality of the loot. And uh, now what you do is pretty much, I'm going to just show it to you, even if you know it's not that, uh, that good in terms of efficiency, but I'm going to still show it to you so you can have an idea how it works and you can even do more tests. Um, the, the beginning is the same. You want to wait until 525, then you 25 to 4, sorry. Then you place your miner. Um, but here is different. The only thing different is that now you, after you get the miner level 4, you upgrade your splash a little bit more and you wait for it to become level 20. After that, you use 3 or 4 overloads. And, uh, uh, and then you end the game at 10 minutes. So you end it like 40 seconds earlier. So here we go, that's a minor level four, right? I'm gonna get my splash here level eight, I think. So I hope you guys can see, yeah, that's level eight. And once you hit level um, the, the ultimate, right? I'm gonna just pause the game so you guys can check. Ultimate, see, my splash is level eight. Actually, I'm gonna get level nine. And this is where you use overload. Now, overload, remember that uh, increases exponentially the speed of your of all the miners active. So it makes enemies faster, it makes enemies tougher, have more HP, but it increases the mining speed. And in this particular level, because of the fact that enemies are spawned every time you mine a resource, you actually spawn more enemies. So I'm gonna just use one overload, and you can see the speed is already 205 from 181. Then I use another one, and now it's 240 and another one. So already in three overloads, the speed of the miner is a lot more than what I would get if I would get the level five. So I'm still spawning more enemies and getting more inferior, um, just like that. And enemies, remember, they are tougher. So depending on your research, you might want to stop at three. You sometimes can get even four. So I'm going to try to go for four overloads. That should be enough until like uh, 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, in this case, you can see it's almost too much. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, I mean, I can still destroy the enemies because of the my ultimate, but definitely getting my special level, level 10 here is needed. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my freezing a little bit. I'm going slow so you guys can see what's happening. I'm upgrading my freezing, more slow, uh, a larger area in which I have the extra damage. All right, it's just uh, a little bit faster now. Right, and you're gonna just play until your overload is, is active. Then you're gonna just end the game because of the fact that you collect all the store loot. And it should be, as you can see here, like it's uh, almost nine minutes, uh, 10 minutes, sorry. Right, that's it. You end the game and that's the strategy on 6.3 in this way. Now, of course here, don't take a look at the duration because of the fact that I paused the game, I just explained what to do. So that's why it's, it's longer. 
um, and the actual infer earned sometimes is going to be slightly more because of the fact that you increase a lot the, the speed so you end up like if you compare it to the previous runs so this was with uh, um, with overload right so one uh, 120 and with the overload so just the normal upgrading is 960 is always going to be around like 960 and uh, therefore you can see this slightly more but overall like you play for uh, less time because of the fact that with overload you can just uh, uh, make more spawn more enemies in the same in the same time so loot it's overall the same uh, but it's not actually the same because of the main thing that changes is the time and I just want to pay attention here to the quality of the tiles that's this is the reason why this strategy is not as good as the first one so it's as the normal one Look here at the amount of 100 percentiles that I got. See, I got 663. If I compare it to the tasks I got from the previous game, look at this. I got 2,500 100 percentiles. So I got four times less 100 percentiles on the strategy where I use my overloads compared to the strategy where I just upgraded the miner. I played for slightly longer, right, but I upgraded my, my miner. And uh, then compared to the 95%, see, I got 2,400 95 percentiles on the uh, overload strategy. And then on this one, I got 1,600, almost 1,700. You can see already on the 95%, I got more on the overload one than on the, on, the, on the normal one. And if we keep moving, again, 90%, I got 2,000 on 90 percentiles. And then on the previous strategy, I got here 16 100 right so again less on 85 percent i got 658 tiles on the overload one and on this one i got 600 so it's roughly the same and then lastly is 80 percent here i got 360 and uh, on the previous one i got 354 so you can see that there is not really much difference between like 80 percent and 85 percent tiles but there is a lot of difference between like 90 percent 95 percent and 100 percent on the normal strategy the slower one you get a lot more 100 percentiles and you get less 95 percent and 90 percent instead on the overload one you get a lot less 100 percent and you get a little bit more of 95 f or 90 and uh, as i said before remember that tiles different quality of tiles affects the amount of uh, prestige dust that you gain from them 100 percentiles are going to sell for 490 right instead 95 percentiles are going to sell for 466 so you can see that i'm way i'm losing 24 dust prestige dust from selling one tile so imagine like hundreds or thousands how much prestige dust you're, you're actually losing because of this and the same applies to 90 percent 90 percent is even lower 442 uh 85 percent it's 417 and then 80 percent it's 393 so that's why you want to get as many of the 100 percentiles as possible because they are more valuable you get more prestige dust from selling them and yeah that's just the reason behind why i think that the overload strategy is slightly uh, inferior in terms of other research, other loot so like uh, i don't know bidders or blueprints or you no know, platforms uh, sources quests you know everything else it's almost exactly the same because you're playing like you're killing almost the same amount of enemies so that's why you're getting the same amount of loot roughly but uh, in terms of tiles and quality of tiles there is a big difference and i think that uh, getting more 100 percent tiles it's uh, it's better so yeah that's just my uh my view and uh just something i wanted to share with you so that's it guys for this uh, stage i'm gonna probably do a next video once i'm gonna max uh, loot rarity and uh, i'm gonna start upgrading with this rate in theory you know just by uh, being sincere and honest i think that even at this stage i could already start upgrading with this rate because of the fact that i'm earning so much loot that even if i start earning more with this I, I will still be able to max out loot rarity uh and then and be able to at the same time collect more with this so probably i'm gonna get one more level rarity a level 87 that's when you get only legendary from using the shorter strategy in 6.3 and so i think that after that i'm gonna start maxing with the straw rate as well 
uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and see ya. Bye bye.